Okay, also for this demonstration I'm going to be using a, a Logitech uh, wireless mouse here and uh, here's the, the little transceiver. So we're going to pop that into one of the USB sockets also so then we can uh, use the mouse and keyboard, Logitech mouse and keyboard. Okay, the Yugu's UT2 32GB uh, uh, Android TV box, is, it's all set up now and the power connection is on. I just want to show you how to turn it on. You've got a power connector at the, the a power button at the front and until this is pressed the remote control won't operate so once you activate this you don't really need to touch this button again it it can operate from the remote and you can send it to sleep and so on so uh, you just press the power button oh it's already booting so that's booting up on the first press and then from there on in you can send the unit into sleep mode using the remote control power button or if you use the power button within the UI, the Android UI, you can uh, power off the device. So it doesn't just only have sleep mode, it can power off completely. And uh, it will retain the, the, the time with the real-time clock there inside. Okay, so let's uh, set the camera up so you can see the screen and uh, we'll test some things out. Okay, let's check out um, the menus and uh, what inbuilt apps are on there. The new Yugu's UT2 32GB edition. Okay, we've got Play Store built in, Chrome browser, up-to-date version by the looks of it, and Tutu's pre-installed, Home Media Center, a couple of video players here, all the full uh, essential Google apps seem to be included. Fancy widgets, haven't tested that one before. We've got a clock, a sound recorder, XBMC is pre-installed. We've got Wi-Fi display, which is pre-installed as well, which is good. Oh, Netflix is pre-installed as well, very popular in the States. Okay, let's uh, open settings. Okay, Wi-Fi is on. Now, we're not going to be using Wi-Fi because I've got a LAN cable there. We can test Wi-Fi later. Okay. So let's go down to Wi-Fi and set that up. Ethernet. We've got PPOE. Mobile networks. Portable hotspot ability. So it could act as a Wi Fi router for your house if you don't have. Got VPN there as well, airplane mode. Just trying to find the Ethernet. Oh, there we go, right in front of me, I'm blind. Here we go. So just turn the Ethernet on. And it's automatically found the gateway. Okay, so that's all set up automatically already. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the time and date. Android 4.2.2, Yugu's UT2. Okay, date and time, automatic date and time. Okay, it's got the correct date automatically. All right, I'm just going to check out the the sound options and the sound output options on this uh, UT2. 32 gigabyte edition and we've got sound devices manager within settings under sound so we've got uh, RK29 RK1000 as an input sound input device so that's basically an internal uh, input so you could uh, assign your Bluetooth to that input I don't think it's got a built-in mic but I can recheck the specs uh, sound output devices ROP chip XP diff will be a standard uh, stereo output I imagine and this outputs are ah, RK1000 will be the HDMI out and uh, this is HDMI and uh, SPDIF output okay but we've also got SPDIF pass through so uh, and we've all got a, also got a HDMI pass through so it'll pass the audio out uh, raw mode to uh, to the HDMI or we, but we're going to use the, the SPDIF 
because we're going to check out some DTS sound. Okay, so that's done. Let's just go back, make sure it's retained the setting. Yeah, it's retained the setting. I'll just click left click there. Okay, volumes. Okay, so there's your, there's your sound settings anyway. And, um, and we can test that out on a media player in a moment and see what results we get on our amplifier here. Okay, here we're going to check out the, the video output uh, settings. So we've got HDMI mode, and at the moment it's on. 1920 by 1080 p 60 fps okay we we'll keep it on that screen scale should have an adjuster yeah we've got an adjuster there we can push it out a little bit okay right mouse button to come out of that output interface we've got HDMI or TV now um, at the moment obviously we want HDMI the TV output is the the multi AV out at the back so uh, I'm not going to click it just in case uh, it switches off the HDMI but I thought I'd just check those settings okay I've downloaded a XM player from the Google Play Store and I've also uh, copied over onto a USB flash drive um, a 14 gigabyte uh, 1080p DTS X264 movie and it's called uh, Pacific Rim and we've got it linked up via the SPDIF pass through to the Yamaha DTS amp and I'm going to test it out see if it can play it and also if it can um, deliver the DTS sound straight to the amp Okay, so the video is perfect, nice and smooth. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to move in no, the kid. Whenever I on the amp so you can see. I'd look up at the stars. Wondered if there was life up there. Turns out I was looking in the wrong direction. You see it's on DTS there. When alien life entered our world, it was from deep beneath the Pacific Ocean. A fish up between two tectonic plates. Center speakers now. Portal between the men. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video. The breach. Oh. There we go. As you see, the DTS turns off. It's got a little bit of dark now. Because it's so white. There we go. See if it's on. It's on Pro Logic, and we can choose Start Over, or we can choose Resume, and it should go to DTS straight away. Reach. Yeah, see you go. The amplifier switches over to DTS, so the SB diff pass through is working fine. Okay, so that's working fine. Okay, I just want to see what it's like for searching through the videos. We're going to use MX Player. XBMC is installed on there as well. Functions perfectly. Okay, this is the video file. We can resume. I want to just search through. This is a 14 gigabyte file. Oh wow, that's so fast, look. Okay, for a 14 gigabyte file with DTS, I think that played pretty good. Now with the with the, the CPU in this uh, Yugu's UT2 32GB edition, it's a full RK3188. Now, um, 
it doesn't run at 1.4 gigahertz like the others. This is uh, this is the full CPU board, and this can run at uh, 1.6. So this runs at uh, 1.6 gigahertz, whereas the uh, the T version, the 3188T version, could only run at 1.4, but this one's the 3188 full version, and it runs at 1.6. So um, it's got a much better CPU than the other Android boxes that are on the market at the moment. So um, yeah, it's really, really a, a powerful machine. You've got a Mali 400 in there, and it's a four-core GPU. That's the MP4, Mali 400 MP4. And uh, I mean, just check out the Play Store. It's super fast. Just go in there, browse for your apps. And I mean, I'm in China as well, so the internet's not the fastest. This is an 8 megabit connection, DSL, and uh, the Play Store is super fast. Movies and TV. you got Netflix on there as well. You've got all of the standard Play Store stuff. You just browse through. You've just got so much content to look at. Three pretty good shows there. Endless entertainment. This is a really good device. Now, uh, make sure to watch part three, which is going to be some gaming. So, we're going to check out the UT2 32 gigabyte edition for gaming. Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, make sure you subscribe to the APED TV YouTube channel, and also uh, pop over to the forum www.apadtv, apad.tv, and register there. And uh, thank you for watching.